Mahabalipuram, India. While at a local library with fellow ancient astronaut theorist Praveen Mohan, Giorgio Suklos gets a first-hand look at early copies of some of India's most important ancient texts. And now let me show you the other book. This is the Bhagavad Gita. Among the most influential is the Bhagavad Gita, part of the 13,000-page epic called the Mahabharata, which contains 19 individual books. Historians think this text was written around 500 BC, so this book is 2,500 years old. Okay. But according to quote-unquote mythology, this was supposed to be written at least 10,000 years ago. <laughs> okay. It's a very popular book, and some people even say atomic science is hidden in this book. Not just regular people, but modern physicists so the argument can be made that the knowledge of, for example, the atom mm -hmm. is contained in a book yes. that is at least two and a half thousand years old. And some stories say that it was given by an otherworldly being. Yes. Okay. Even Robert Oppenheimer, who is the father of atomic bomb, mm -hmm. uh, was fascinated by this book. Really? Wow. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Hornada del Muerto Desert, New Mexico, July 16th, 1945. In the middle of the barren Alamogordo bombing and gunnery range, scientists detonate the first man-made nuclear weapon. The destruction was comparable to no other weapon known to man. The father of the atomic bomb was J. Robert Oppenheimer, the leader of the Manhattan Project, a secret government program created to develop such a weapon. Oppenheimer, when he saw the successful nuclear test and realized what a terrible weapon he was unleashing, he quoted the Bhagavad Gita, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer's interest in ancient Sanskrit literature began while he was a professor at the University of California, Berkeley, and was introduced to the texts by renowned scholar Arthur W. Ryder. Under Ryder's tutelage, Oppenheimer extensively studied the Vedic scriptures and became proficient in Sanskrit. According to his biographers, he kept a hardcover of the Bhagavad Gita on his bookshelf and was known to give copies away to his friends as gifts. One of the ideas that's deep within the Vedic scriptures, the Bhagavad Gita, is the idea of duty. He felt it was his duty to do this, even though it would be a terrible thing, he realized, to develop this new nuclear weapon. So he believed he was part of a cosmic cycle, and we had to do this to advance. Perhaps he knew that by developing the atomic bomb, we were actually reconnecting with technologies that we had been exposed to many thousands of years before. One of the key ideas found within the Indian texts is the concept of the cyclical nature of existence. That once we complete a cosmic cycle, it just begins once more. Oppenheimer himself came to see that he was, in a sense, fulfilling some ancient destiny, and that this weapon could ultimately be used to stop a major war, which is exactly what happened. It totally broke the momentum of World War II. In that sense, he was seeing that he was, in some way, fulfilling a destiny that came to him from a seemingly supernatural source, i.e., extraterrestrial gods who influenced ancient India. If Oppenheimer's work on the atomic bomb was inspired by the ancient Indian texts. Could this mean that similar weapons actually existed on Earth thousands of years ago?